Made it! I'm here. Here for what? For the shooting. Your shooting is supposed to be tomorrow. You gotta be kidding me! No! Damn it! Shoo! Hey there, I'm Daria and this is the Mobile Vlog. Your go-to channel for creating cool videos. Have you seen Shaun of the Dead? Or Hot Fuzz? And how about Scott Pilgrim vs. The World? All these action comedy films were made by Edgar Wright, an English director, producer, and screenwriter. Visually, they differ from other movies through their super dynamic editing with frequent use of jump cuts. Today, we're gonna figure out what makes this montage dope, and I'll provide a detailed explanation on how we made our sample video in Edgar Wright style. But before we get down to business, give this video a thumbs up if you're interested in the topic of montage tricks. If it is your first time on our channel, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the upcoming videos. Did you click all the buttons? Aye, aye, Captain! Great, let's go! We already put a spotlight on the editing trick named Jump Cut in one of the previous episodes. That is a sort of transition that provides an effect of jumping forward in time. With the help of such cuts, you can show some events happening throughout the day or even years in just a few seconds. Edgar Wright just loves using jump cuts in his movies. See for yourselves. Jump cuts became Edgar Wright's calling card, although it's clear that he wasn't the first director who used them this way. Check out some shots from the movie Requiem for a Dream, directed by Darren Aronofsky. The editing style here looks somewhat similar. I could only recall Requiem for a Dream on the spot. What other movies have you seen this trick in? If there are some attentive movie addicts out there, let us know in the comments. But let's get back to Edgar Wright. What purposes does this sort of montage serve in his movies? First off, it is used to create a more dynamic and rhythmic narration so that the viewer doesn't start nodding off. Let's imagine you need to film an exhausting journey from one place to another. Some directors would use long shots, featuring the road itself, landscapes, and other city sites. And here is how a trip of a character was shown in Hot Fuzz. Think about your cottage. It's not ready. <laughs> Edgar Wright is the one who can show even boring morning preparations before work in an interesting way. Secondly, jump cuts help make scenes look funnier. Edgar Wright shoots action comedies, so visual humor is really important for him. For one, here is how Scott Pilgrim's getting ready for the fight with his rival. Finish him. Here is how the Shaun of the Dead characters are coming up with a rescue plan for Shaun's mother and his girlfriend. Okay. Take Pete's car, go around Mum's, go in, deal with Philip. Sorry, Philip. Grab Mum, go to Liz's, pick her up, bring her back here, have a cup of tea, and wait for all this to blow over. Perfect. Quite often, Wright creates a joke using nearly no words. For one, here is the scene from The World's End where the characters get to know that their friend turned into a teetotaler. Sorry, can we have four of those and a tap water, please? What? I don't believe this. A few words about the technical features of Wright's jump cuts. Each scene is pretty short, like a second or even shorter, which makes it possible to reach the maximum swiftness of the action. To make jump cuts even more effective, Edgar Wright applies an abrupt image approximation, that is, zoom. On top of it all, there is sound design. Natural sounds of some objects are combined with special effects, like whooshes. 
These tricks, which are hard to notice at first glance, perfectly create dynamics in the frame. Ok then, let's move on to some practice. Now I'm gonna tell you how to make a video like Edgar Wright does in a quick and easy way. Let's see! First off, work out a plot of a clip and make up a plan for your scenes. We've shot our video in 4K. Since we'll need to zoom in our image over the editing stage with the help of the zoom tool, preserving the picture quality. Note that just like Edgar Wright, we shot most of our scenes in close-ups, drawing viewers' attention to a particular action. Upload the footage you've got into Movavi Video Editor. Go for the split and cut the scene you select so that there is a quick action lasting for about a second or less at the end of each scene. Remove all the unwanted parts. Let's bring about some dynamics with the help of Zoom. Let's pick a clip on the timeline. Go for the tap Pan and Zoom. Choose the Zoom In option and click Add. You may change the size and position of the orange frame, which shows the zoom area. Move the arrow that's appeared on the clip to the point in the video where you want to add the Zoom In. Let's move the length of the arrow to speed up or slow down the Zoom In effect. In our case, it's got to be rapid. The same way, let's add up the zoom in effect to all the remaining clips on the timeline. You can always edit the zoom area of each particular clip by right clicking the blue circle and opting for Edit Keyframe. All that's left is adding some sounds. We've searched for them on audioblogs.com and in the free library of freesound.org. There are plenty of sounds available on these websites. Apart from the ones we need, there is an engine sound, for example. Let's add up the sounds to our audio track and place them so that they synchronize in time with the action featured in the video. That's about it! Our video in Edgar Wright style is officially ready. Shooting and editing in the style of Edgar Wright is perfectly suitable for various situations. For example, you can use it to make your preparation for vlog shooting look amazing, or to make an entertaining video about going out to a restaurant. It's all about your initial idea, really, so go for it and try out this editing style in your videos. If you were interested in today's video and want to learn more about various editing tricks, check out our episode on transitions and splices. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the Mavavi Vlog channel. See you around!